Hi guys, it's a brand new day and welcome back to Mzechik's YouTube channel. Mzechik's is my name. Uh, always here to see everyone is doing chickens. I'm the world best chicken dad. Guys, uh, whenever you find Whenever I find uh, your chickens, uh, not even only your chickens, but even other farm animals are not feeling well, are sick, uh, this is one of the heartbreaking moments uh, we always go through, you always go through, they always go through at the farm. And such moments discourages very many people out there uh, maybe to continue with their farming uh, if it happen one is not yet started they are discouraged maybe even to start when they always see uh, maybe someone's chickens are dying someone's animals are dying they hesitate or they even just stop to start but it's all about how we have to control these diseases it's all about uh to know how to treat these diseases at our farms uh, this morning i've reached here finding my chickens because i've been always updating you about these chicks uh, but find them this morning they're not feeling well uh their bad love so i had to share with you such moments just for one reason you know maybe if you are facing the same you are encouraged or you can even know how to handle such moments at your farms guys these chicks they have been growing very fast they made week six but now i'm telling you they are down they are feeling they are not feeling well they are not feeding they are not drinking water so whenever such moments comes at your farms uh, first of all you have to know what is the cause of uh, your chickens may be to appear as they are uh, what is the cause of the disease first and foremost uh, you have to check every day uh, the performance of your chickens, uh, the performance of your chicks, and uh, even other farm animals. Because uh, through doing this, that is when you will know maybe you are uh, diseases are coming, or maybe you are attacked by busy uh, diseases. Two days back, there was a drop in their feeding and the drinking water, but there was no any other sign. Maybe to show that they are sick. They have been moving well. They have been performing well, but there was that drop in drinking and feeding. Uh, so, whenever you see that there is that drop in feeding and drinking water, just you know there is something wrong with your chickens continue to check other signs with your chickens you will get to know whether your chicks are sick or not but that was the first sign i've realized here there was that drop in feeding and drinking water yeah guys after that uh, continue to check on their droppings uh, continue to check on their appearance uh, there is that dropness they feel sad 
they appear as if they are they are feeling cold so that's the one who, that is in the other side then uh, as we know very well most diseases have the similar primary signs uh, so go on and we check on other signs just like me here uh, continuing to check on their droppings they are passing blood which is a very very good sign of coccidiosis but at first there wasn't uh, any primary sign of this coccidiosis i was not seeing any uh, any primary sign of this coccidiosis but reaching just now uh find the passing blood and as you know very well this is the one of the last signs of coccidiosis the secondary signs of coccidiosis whenever you see a chicken is a passing blood uh, they are in their severe condition of coccidiosis so uh, just to find them they are passing blood everywhere here yeah i'll bring the camera very near here and you'll see but all are very weak you see them they have dropped their wings they're not feeling well guys uh, immediately after finding out what is what is causing that or after finding out what is the disease you have to act immediately uh, to start fighting such a disease uh, it's very important or if you keep uh, some medicine that your farm uh, you should have that cheat containing fast medicines that will help you in these other diseases even if the the uh, the medicine you have will not cure the disease but at least you will start with that then later you look for the uh, effective medicines after that realizing that i'm uh, attacked by uh, coccidiosis as i'm seeing they are passing blood everywhere of course I had to check in my uh, in my in my box here so that I can see whether I have a medicine related to treat coccidiosis. Yeah, I had to check here in my cheat. I found here this. I don't know whether I will see it. I found here this. Then I found I had also this Pimoxovet. Pimoxo. Yeah. After all that, reading here the indication is they are telling us infectious coronary uh, salmonella infection is chronic respiratory diseases and and I'm seeing here sickle coccidiosis guys i had no any other option but just to start the dose with this and uh, i've already mixed this in their drinking water of course what i did i first stuffed them for one hour minus giving them water i just put their feet and i made them to have thirsty uh, to start uh, consuming this uh, medicated water so afterwards i had to mix uh, this in their drinking water and they are now as uh, they have on and they have already started uh, drinking this uh, medicated water it contains or it treats uh, quite a number but according to the the condition or according to the stage of the uh, of the of the disease of course i have to look for that for those medicines particularly for coccidiosis but for the time being i'm using this then uh, i'm going to look for the particular medicine i'm going to use coccid yeah coccid it will do what i know it will do well for me yes guys all in all uh, it's all about every day to check the performance of your chickens sometimes the diseases come 
may not showing may be their first two primary stages then you first you just realize at their secondary stages just like me here always i clean my cages here i clean the plywood that where i collect their droppings every day i disinfect but uh finding today this morning uh coccidiosis at its secondary stage yeah but it, it always happens uh so we have to be serious and any other thing uh we don't have to be discouraged uh, maybe when uh, you find such moments at your farms or in your chickens uh, it's all about to find out what is causing it then you deal with that particular area lots of love mzee chicks sign out